an early start for the two main contenders on election day. Both Lars Luke Rasmussen, who's been Prime Minister for the last four years, and Mette Frederiksen of the Social Democrats, casting their respective votes. The leader of the opposition centre-left bloc, knowing her party was favoured to do well. If there is a majority for a new government, then we will begin negotiations to form a government at once. And of course, I hope for the mandate to lead those. Pledges to boost welfare spending and a tougher stance on immigration have gone down well. But there were other issues concerning the voters. One is uh, the climate and the other one is uh, how we distribute our resources uh, economically. We need to be more considerate, not just of our own people, but of the people of the world. It's time to take more responsibility. By the time the exit polls were announced, it seemed clear the Social Democrats and the centre-left had taken the day. People gathered outside the Parliament building in Copenhagen to watch the results come in live, confirming the Social Democrats' success. That blend of policy seems to have worked with the voters, many of whom are still behind me, watching the votes come in. It's essentially a message of we are listening when it comes to climate change. We will invest more money into the welfare state. And by the way, when it comes to immigration and asylum seekers, we're going to maintain the hardline stance taken by the previous government. Parties of the far right and the Danish People's Party, who did well four years ago, were trounced in this election. And while the figures show the overwhelming victory for the centre-left over the coalition of the outgoing Prime Minister, it's also clear no party can form a government without assistance from others. Lars Luke Rasmussen said despite the defeat he wanted to stay on as the head of a new coalition government. Something swiftly shot down by Frederiksen. Now, after the Danish people have spoken, the job is to try to create a new government. I'm convinced it will be possible because the support that you, the Danish people, have given a new majority. We can't let it go to waste. We have the opportunity together to put Denmark on a new course. She confirmed she wants to be the next prime minister, the youngest in the country's history, and lead a minority social democrat government. Francis Collings, TRT World, Copenhagen, Denmark.